Today we're going to be having a look at this Mesa inverter solution for work from home. Um, that's it in the box. Um, let's get it out and speak a bit more about it. The unit itself weighs about 5 kgs. It comes in two models, a 1200 VA and a 2400 VA. The 1200 VA produces around 720 watts of power and the 2400 VA produces around 1.4 kilowatts of power for your appliances. I'll put up the technical specs on the screen as well for your information. So in the box, you have your power cables to link up to your batteries and um, a jumper cable if you've got the 24 volt setup and the inverter itself. So the inverter itself is basically just a step up transformer which is converting your DC current into an AC current so you can run appliances in your home. Um, the Mesa unit itself comes with a power plug which you run off the wall all the time and it has three outlets on the top which you can then add on additional appliances. The unit has a heads up display um, which we'll speak more about later. These units produce a simulated sine wave and are not recommended for any motor driven appliance. I will put up a recommended list of appliances that should be run on these devices. The device comes in a portable container, uh, which houses the batteries. One battery on the 1200 VA unit and two batteries in the 2400 VA unit. Um, the wheels have locks, so they cannot be moved if placed in a certain point, but also easily accessible if required. And the entire setup is quite compact. Let's take a look at an assembled unit and how it works. In case you don't make it to part two, I'd rather throw this in here. So this is a list of things that can be powered and things that cannot be powered uh, with the unit. Primarily, this is a work from home solution. So things like your Wi-Fi routers, TVs, gaming stations, laptops and cell phones, your energy efficient lights, such as your 10 to 15 watt LED bulbs. If you've got energy efficient water heating equipment, which are under 1,440 watts, if you've got the larger unit, um, that can be used. Uh, we've powered things like electric blankets with it and fans. Things to stay away from, large fridges, kettles and toasters, which have you know strong elements that pull a lot of power, hair dryers and geysers, very similar, uh, washing machine as it's motor driven, and finally air conditioners. Thanks for watching the video and I look forward to more videos with you.